Hey beauties, it is your girl Jessica Nicole and if I seem out of it, I've had one of the worst days ever today. As far as recording, nothing has went right. Um, my backdrop is not coherent with my lighting so I look super washed out. Um, so this makeup tutorial was recorded for no reason. Um, my memory card, I opened my camera to take my memory card out, um, and I just finished recording this video, and it fucking fell on the floor, and I lost it. So I'm now re-recording at 10 p.m., and I wanted this video to be up before 12. Also, it's just, it's just not my day, but I promised you guys a video a day for the whole week. So I'm going to give you guys a video a day for the whole week, no matter what the devil is trying to do. So as you guys can see in this video, I will be doing makeup expiration dates. So as so when I did my last video on my makeup kit, a lot of you guys were basically saying that you did not know that makeup expired. But just like everything else, just like food and things of that nature, makeup expires. So I'm just going to give you guys a little um, roundup of how long I keep my makeup for and how long they say you're supposed to. Everyone gives you different numbers and different months and things of that nature. So I just follow the guidelines that I was taught throughout the years of not only doing makeup but working with makeup artists. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias and enjoy. Okay, so before I get into any Thing, I want to let you guys know that if you don't want to follow the rules that I'm telling you, you can just follow the rules that are on your packaging. So most products, when you buy the product, it tells you on the back of the package how long the product can last. Now, even though sometimes the product says a certain amount on the back of the package, I tend to keep it a little bit longer. Now, I'm not saying it is sanitary, but again, that is just what I do. Um, but if you want to follow the guidelines on the back of your packaging, then do so. So foundations tend to last between one to two years, depending on what you use at the top. So if this is a foundation where you have to use it like a concealer, like you put the, pro the applicator in and out, it does have a shorter amount of time because when you have to put the product in and out of the... Um, the applicator in and out of the product, it, it tends to hold bacteria a little bit longer. But because these two foundations have pumps, they tend to last a little bit longer. So this one on the bottom of this foundation, this one is from NARS, it is my favorite foundation. This one lasts, what it says right here in this little thing, this one lasts up to 24 months, so that is two years. This is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD, this also has a pump. But from what the back of this one says, it only has a lifespan of 12 months, which is a year. So this one, the Total Control Drops, says that it has a lifespan of, where is it, 24 months right there. So again, foundations last you between 12 to 24 months. Now concealers, on the other hand, because you are going in and out of the applicator so you're putting it on your face and going back putting the applicator on your face and going back into the product it tends to hold a lot more bacteria so concealers usually last you from six months to a year it's on focus but on the bottom of the shape tape it says six months and some of my NARS concealer says that it will last up to a year so right there on the side it says 24 months so again like I said concealers last from six months to a year and I would not suggest holding products like that any longer because once they are expired they tend to break you out so I feel like that's a super bad idea now on the back of the product of my mascaras that I've noticed they both say that they can last up to six months so my Big Shot Colossal um, right here says six months. 
And on my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara it says six months right here as well. But I like to be, but I personally like to be a little bit more cautious. I've always taught that you should not keep mascara up no more than three months. And I still follow that rule. That is exactly why I do not buy my mascara um, in the bigger size because I tend not to use it um, past three months. I tend to throw it out and it makes no sense to pay for the big one if I'm not going to use it that long. Also, if you forget how long you're keeping a product for, the product tends to dry out after time goes on. And it tends to have a smelly, well, a smelly fun, a funny smell after time goes on. So if you smell a funny smell coming from your mascara, please throw it in the garbage and do not have any infections in your eyes. Now on to eyeshadows. Um, eyeshadow palettes usually have a lifespan from six months to two years, depending on the product. Now I have palettes that I've had for two years and on the back of the product it says six months such as um my beverly hills uh world traveler palette this is actually i have not been using this so i'm gonna throw it out but this has a lifespan of six months just like any other of the anastasia beverly hills um eyeshadow Palette. They all say six months. I've had this longer than six months. I've had this longer than six months. I like to keep my eyeshadows up to two years. That's just me personally. So the Tardius Pro Palette actually says 12 months right here. So again, I like to keep my palettes up to two years if I can. The Violet Voss Palette actually does not say the um, amount of time. And my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette says two years so again all shadow palettes i usually keep about two years because that's the amount of time i was taught after two years yeah that shit away so for liners liquid and cream you can keep three months to six months now this is one product that i'm very very bad on i forget to time it but i time like my face products so this though i do time i make sure i switch it out every three months because i'm putting it on my eyes and it's also liquid liquid holds bacteria more than anything else it's liquid so i tend to switch this out a little bit quicker but from what this is saying it has a lifespan of 12 months hey i might not be switching it out much often so that little thingy right here always tells you so this says it has a lifespan of 12 months. I'm wondering if that's after you open. Like my Morphe gel liner, I've had this way longer than I was supposed to have it, but I'm gonna throw it out soon, I promise guys, and get another one. So these lash glues are saying they have a lifespan of 12 months on the back. This I'll probably not follow for, I don't follow for 12 months. I usually throw them out after like three, this three to six months. Why can I not speak? three to six months but again all makeup has a lifespan on to lipsticks so lipsticks i usually keep for one to two years um because they're in drier space drier spaces they tend to you know last a little bit longer liquid though again you could keep up to one um this one says one year Again, just like any other product that you are taking the applicator out and in of, has a shorter lifespan because you're putting bacteria back into the product. Glosses, I try to keep um, close to a year and not to two years because it's not a good idea. Well, my MAC products, I have not seen any lifespan on any of them. I've been trying to find it, but... It's not on this and it's not on the box. So I guess MAC products don't have a lifespan. But <laughs> sorry guys if you hear rustling. I'm trying to find products that show lifespan. So yeah, the Laura Mercier powder has a lifespan of 12 months. It says it right there. If it looks yellow, it's because I always mix my Shasha Buttercup in there. Now, what's so funny is this LA Girl Strobe Life Strobing Powder has a lifespan of 3 years. It says right here, 36 months. Do not mind my nails, okay guys, I'm getting them done next week. 
And the champagne pop from Becca has a lifespan of 24 months, which means two years. So if you guys don't know what amount of time you need for a product, you can always look on the back of the product. Like I said, I follow my own timeline. I will also list the timeline down below in the description bar. Also, spray products, okay? Primer waters, Fix Plus, and things of that nature, they have time spans as well. So like always they say on the back of the bottle, this one says 24 months, which is my primer water. I don't know if you can see that. My um, Kat Von D spray, the locket spray says 12 months. And this old ass Urban Decay is six months. If you guys have any questions, you can put them down in the comments down below. I'm willing to answer them. I don't know everything, okay? But I tell you guys what I know. That's what I'm here for. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Now, if you see this little picture right here and you are not subscribed to your girl, just click that picture of my cute self, okay? And you will be subscribed to my channel. If you are already subscribed and you click this, you are unsubscribing to my channel, so don't you dare click that picture. Also, check out the video from yesterday where me and my sister did the Bean Boozled Challenge, okay? It was a little weird, but we did it. Follow me on all social medias. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.